Man United 2, Liverpool 2, Manchester United had an opportunity to win this game, but as usual, we did not win the game. I'm here with United, Houston Red Army, Shelby, talk us through. Well, what's there to say? We all saw it. We capitulated in the final third. Nothing that we're not used to. I guess overall the team is, is okay. They did okay, but I know a lot of us are tired of this. I know a lot of us are sick of being in this situation. I know we remember what happened to Chelsea, only to see it happen again versus Liverpool. So overall, it's not a loss, but a damn sure didn't win. I'll take that. It's an okay game, you know. We could have won the game if one Bissaka didn't lose his mind and made the reckless tackle. So this is where we are still not a team to win anything because we still don't keep the tenacity or intensity for the 90 minutes. We did good. I mean, in the second half, I'm proud of the team that we got back from behind and scored two goals. Proud of Kobe, proud of Garnacho, all the team showed up. Even Harry also did a good job. Yeah. But this one slight mistake that's going to cost us the game. And always we, a mistake. Yeah. There's so always what, a mistake. This is basically made a difference between Manchester United and all the big teams like our City or Liverpool. If you want to get it get to the standard, we got to keep scoring more goals because we can't keep one goal lead. No, we so can't. That's the main reason why we kind of like squad off with Liverpool. Overall, Liverpool is not an invincible team and I'm glad that no. they are behind Arsenal. So we did their job. Now it's up to Arsenal to make sure they're going to win the league because yeah. I really don't want to make sure that our 20th song is still make relevant in the next season. Right. Shelby, yeah. on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give United's performance today? Uh, overall, I'm going to give the team a 5. I can't give it higher than that. I'm going to tell you, I think man of the match should go out to Kobe. Without his goal, this game is over with. They would have came back and won. So I think we need to build around the youth in the future. I don't want to see some of these players next season. Some of them get paid way too much to be this bad. Yep. So we can we can rely on the youth and we can lose and they can get experience. I'd rather that. Sammy, well you I'll give them a uh, six, uh, six out of 10 because of the, the resilience they showed in the first 15 to 20 minutes of the second half. Came back from behind, I agree with, um, Shelby that you know Kobe Miner should be our man of the match because of him we still stay on top of the game uh, but we need to start cleaning house I really tired of seeing all this hitting the reset button and you know like just kicking off the manager so we actually have a better season next we got to stop doing that we got to start cleaning house the players who are not motivated to pull off Manchester United jersey and not staying up on the pitch they should go you know they don't we don't need them. Rather, we would go with players like Garnacho and Kobe. They're going to like put their body on the line yeah. to play for Manchester United. That's the player we need because we need to get back to the glory days where we want to be. And Eric Ten Hag is still my manager and he should stay. Right. You've heard it from Houston Red Army. United had an opportunity to beat Liverpool again. But as usual, there's always a mistake and an accident waiting to happen. We, we just all tried to recuperate from the Chelsea calamity. We thought this was it. But again, there's always a, always defense, a, a defense, mistake, mistake. waiting. From all of us, Houston Red Army, glory, glory. Man United. We'll see you on the next one.